All right. This looks like the final stretch. I'm guessing the... Remember okay. also thy creator in the days of thy youth, before the evil days come, and the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Two, before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars are darkened and the clouds return after the rain. What? I'm guessing when they said his heart is shining through, I'm guessing... Is this the inside of his body or something? Getting down there is going to be quite the challenge. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow down, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those who look out of the windows shall be darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the street when the sound of the grinding is low, and one shall rise to the song of a bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. All right, uh, I guess I don't need heat anymore. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I'm really low. I'm kind of worried that I'm going to get attacked, but it's like the most story we've seen in forever. So I'm, I'm guessing this is close to the end of the game. So we'll see. All right, what? This is an absolutely pointless area. Thought I was going to something, I guess not. Just down here? Yea, they shall be afraid of that which is high, and terror shall be in the way. And the almond tree shall blossom, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fail. Because man goeth to his everlasting home, and the mourners go about the streets. All right. Hoping to uh, figure out what this is all building up to in a minute. The silver cord is loosed, or the golden bowl is broken, or the pitcher is broken at the fountain, or the wheel broken at the cistern, and the dust returneth to the earth as it was, and the spirit returneth unto God who gave it. I was trying to see what's down there. I don't want to fall in during the uh, little flashback. All right, I guess this is where I go. went on singing its mournful song, and the thunder crashed, and the rain poured down. What else can I do to save these people? cried out Danko above the thunder. And suddenly he ripped open his breast and tore out his heart and held it high above his head. It shone like the sun, even brighter than the sun and the raging forest was subdued and lighted up by this torch, the torch of a great love for the people. And the darkness retreated before it and plunged, quivering, into a yawning bog in the depths of the forest. And in their astonishment, the people were as if turned to stone. The brave Danko cast his eye over the endless steppe cast a joyful eye over this land of freedom and gave a proud laugh 
and then he fell down and died. And his followers were so full of joy and hope that they did not notice he had died and that his brave heart was still flaming beside his dead body. But one timid creature noticed it, and fearing he knew not what, stamped on the flaming heart, and it sent up a shower of sparks and went out. What the fuck? Holy shit, guys. Oh, what the fuck? Is that Kratos? Oh my god. This is it. What do I do? I'm behind him, so I think I don't think he can see me. But you can't do anything. I have tried everything. Won't go down. I guess you gotta get all of his fingers filled up. Did I get that one? I think I did. Oh, I did it. All right, so we finally beat this. Freaky? Just hop in his hand. Holy shit. This is freaky, guys. What's he doing? Oh. What? Summon is. Oh, he pushed me like in a different dimension. Like some Doctor Who shit right here. All right. Gonna retract your hand now, buddy. Tame them, and you shall control them. Deceive them, and you shall gain much. Otherwise, they will devour you. What? What the hell? Well, obviously, I can't really go anywhere right here. Do I talk to these guys? Sir, I'm preparing a detailed report on the repairs. Would you say a week to get it all done? Go to the lower decks and you can see for yourself. They will explain to you that the repair time depends very much on the abilities of our crew members. As well as the abilities of the captain to perform his duties. Like getting the ship to its destination while keeping the cargo and crew safe. So, why don't you get to it, sir? Because the recent chain of events, how do I say it, cast a shadow over your competence. Now listen here. Let me explain something to you. I am in command of this vessel until either I or my ship ceases to exist. This is not your ship, sir. You are a member of its large crew tasked with a certain role, and in regards to its future, that might be decided sooner than you think. Are you threatening me? Here's a message from HQ for a start. Exist. 
All right, so that was his point of view. Let's do this one. Sir, I'm preparing a detailed report on the repairs. Would you say a week to get it all done? Go to the lower decks and you can see for yourself. They will explain to you that the repair time depends very much on the ability. He's saying the crew. same thing. So I can technically leave while he's talking. <gasps> what? Okay, we're doing this ourselves. Nice. So the other one, I was like the third person, whereas this, I'm actually the other guy that's just watching, so. What the hell is going on? Oh. Hey, look who's finally decided to grace our presence. What an honor. Would you be so kind as to help us? We're unworthy, of course, but we're so lonely. There, take the thing. It's not scientific, you know, but at least it works. What? So I'm gonna be... <laughs> gonna be destroying this? Oh, what? What just happened? I can't move. I don't think my graphics card's gonna handle this! Well, this is a familiar shot. I'm the captain of the North Wind Nuclear Icebreaker. Welcome. You are lucky. The ice is rather thin here. You could have easily gone under. Well, no, no time to lose. Let's head for the ship. We have some rough times ahead. And let us send your wonderful dogs back. Unlike us, they always find their way home. Follow me, cried Danko, and he rushed forward, holding his flaming heart high above his head to light the way. And the people followed him, as if under a spell. And once more the forest began to murmur and wave its treetops in wonder. But its murmur was drowned out by the sound of running feet. The people were running ahead boldly and swiftly, lured on by the wonderful vision of the flaming heart. And even now there were those who perished. But they perished without tears and complaints. And Danko went on ahead of them, his heart flaming brighter and brighter. All right, well, that is the end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what exactly went down. So if you ask me, chances are I don't know. I'm going to do some research and see what just happened. But 
Uh, thanks for all the likes and support on this random series. It was pretty cool to just pick a game off of Steam and uh, give it a shot. So, hope you enjoyed the long finale as well. And I'll see you all next time. Take it easy.